Fashion seems to be a big part of our culture today. Many people choose clothes based on what's in style and what looks good to them. Some also choose their clothes based on how durable they are for the jobs that they do. But what if there was more to it? What if we could literally help heal our bodies and protect our bodies with choosing the right clothes? Many of us are familiar with linen and we typically see a lot of linen in places like Florida. The cost of linen can sometimes be a bit shocking to many. But if you think about it, some people spend over $100 on a pair of designer jeans and shirts. Well, look no further. I have found a source that is quite inexpensive and has clothes that are quite appealing to the eye. Be sure to stick around until the end and I will share the source I use for all my linen clothes. And for the record, I am not affiliated with this company and I do not get anything from them. I am simply going to share their company name as a source. But first, let's look at the history and the benefits of linen and its biblical references. Let's get started. At the electronic cellular level, flax cells are highly complementary with human cells, producing a benevolent effect on the human organism. The human cell is capable of completely dissolving a flax cell. It is interesting that flax thread appears to be the only natural material utilized for internal sutures in a surgical setting. Scientists have discovered that linen fibers reflect light. The light energy aspect of living organisms has been measured by many individuals within the scientific community. Nobel Prize winning Dr. Ottawa Berry identified signature frequency numbers of the average human at 70 to 90. All results with numbers less than 50 were identified as the signature frequency of chronic disease. Any number less than 15 was identified with those having a diagnosed incurable condition such as cancer. The measurement of linen fabric measures 5,000 signature frequencies. How do other fabrics compare? Plant fibers like cotton and hemp are not a healing fiber when measuring its signature energy output. Standard bleached and colored cotton measures 40 units of energy. The good news is that organic unbleached cotton measures 100 units of energy, which is a normal, but not a healing fiber. The silk fabric measures 10 units of energy, which would fail to support health in the human body. Could it be a low number because of its origin? Silk is produced from an unclean insect. Could be that silk is unhealthy due to the use of many chemicals. Rayon measures a 15 signature frequency. Polyester, acrylic, spandex, lycra, viscose, and nylon measure zero and do not reflect light. Pure wool measures 5,000 units of energy. For any individual desiring to be well, the best recommendation from the instructions of the scriptures is to wear linen. The biblical warning of wearing wool and linen together proved in scientific studies to be accurate. The energy of these two fabrics put together, like a wool sweater on top of a linen outfit, collapsed the electrical field as well as wearing of black colored fabric. Where the two textiles measure 5,000 signature frequencies, when put together, these canceled each other and brought measurable weakness and in some tests even pain to the body. Since the earliest times, flax has been known to have healing properties. In the Latin language, the word flax means being most useful, and the scriptures certainly emphasize this material over all other fabrics for the holy attire. In establishing the protocols and statutes of health, Moses received specific instructions. Cleansing a leper, meaning those incurable, gave only three distinct fabrics of attire, wool, linen, and leather. Leviticus 13. The garment also that the plague of leprosy is in, whether it be a woolen garment or a linen garment, whether it be in the warp or woof of linen or of woolen, whether in the skin, or in anything made of skin. It was emphasized as forbidden to wear linen and wool together. Leviticus 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. 
Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed, neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Deuteronomy 22. Thou shalt not wear a garment of diverse sorts, as of woolen and linen together. Historically, the beautiful white linen attire of the Hebrew people was with Yahuwah's specific instructions, the decisions as given in the commandments in Torah. This fabric is considered part of the sanctification path. Flax fabric is an excellent filter protecting against chemical exposure, noise, and dust. Linen clothing reduces solar gamma radiation by almost half, thereby protecting humans wearing linen. Flax fiber retrieved from contaminated soil appears to be totally resistant to harmful radiation. Linen underwear heightens positive emotions as well as possessing rare bacteriological properties. Resistant to fungus and bacteria, flax is found to be an effective barrier to some diseases. And according to Japanese researchers, studies have shown that bedridden patients do not develop bed sores where linen bed sheets are used. Wearing linen clothes helps to decrease some skin diseases from the common rash to chronic eczemas. Linen is highly hydroscopic, meaning it rapidly absorbs and gives up moisture. Absorbing water as quickly as a pond surface before giving a feeling of being wet, linen cloth can absorb as much as 20% of its dry weight. This explains why linen cloth always feels cool and fresh. Linen does not cause allergic reactions and is helpful in treating a number of allergic disorders. Linen is effective in dealing with inflammatory conditions, reducing fever, and providing a healthy air exchange. Some neurological ailments benefit from the use of linen clothing. Linen cloth does not accumulate static electricity. Even a small addition of flax fibers to a cloth is enough to eliminate the static electricity effect, and we're talking up to about 10%. Silica present in the flax fiber protects linen against rotting. Linen rejects dirt and does not get a furry texture. Linen containing articles are easily laundered in hot water, can be boiled and dried in the sun, and may be hot ironed, thereby ensuring maximum sterilization. Linen provides a sensation of gentle, natural relief. The more linen is washed, the softer and smoother it becomes. If you wear black clothing, standard cotton clothing, rayon, polyester, and nylon stockings, these will hinder your health by discharging and extinguishing one's electrical field light. When put into nature law depletion, there will be darkness. The human body will struggle with nine areas of opened windows within the human body, making it vulnerable to attack. The areas of windows in the nerve bundle regions of the human body leak subtle energy fields with the reserves of mineral charges. The dead battery effect would drain until the cellular function would be termed useless. If you have good flax next to wool or other man-made fake fibers, the energy signature will discharge and one will suffer the consequences. This is the law of nature principle. What is at a higher level will come down to the average of the lower amount, unless shielded. If you use cotton or rayon, these are not as strengthening to your body and may serve to keep your health average with the typical Western illnesses. If you want optimum health and healing and a strengthened immune system, you can choose to follow the instructions of the scripture in getting your holy wardrobe, knowing that you have the highest blessings available. Hallelujah for this knowledge for those who keep his ways. Let's look at some additional biblical references to linen. Revelation 19. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. The description of the tabernacle, which formed the central point of worship for the tribes of Israel, the historical record tells us that the curtains were of fine linen. The use of linen was to have holy garments for the priests of the nation for glory and for beauty. Exodus 28 And thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron and thy brother, for glory and for beauty. On Yom Kippur, the high priest alone entered the Holy of Holies to make atonement for his house and for the people. Leviticus 16 He shall put on the holy linen coat, 
and he shall have the linen breeches upon his flesh, and shall be girded with a linen girdle, and with the linen mitre shall he be attired. These are holy garments. Therefore shall he wash his flesh in water, and so put them on. Aaron, the high priest, entered the holy place. He put on a holy linen coat and girdle, and upon his head was a linen cap. This shows the unique place held by linen in the history of ancient times, and the reverence accorded it is further demonstrated in what we call the New Testament, which states that when the revelation of things to come was given to John, the seven angels, who held in their hands the past and future of mankind, were clothed in pure and white linen. And a final quotation from the same book of Revelation, actions inform us that the garment of those chosen for eternal life and happiness will be of fine linen. The use of linen for priestly vestments was not confined to the ancient Israelites. During the birth of Messiah, we know that linen was a common fabric used by the people in the temple because of its purity. What prophecy has been of flax relating to the true Messiah? Isaiah 42 and Matthew 12, a bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking of flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. These are prophecies that would identify the Messiah to be a light to the Gentiles. Isaiah 42, thus saith God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it, and spirit to them that walk therein. The Lord have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thy hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from that prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. <laughs> this is my personal choice for where to purchase my linen clothing. Again, I am not affiliated with this company, and there is a link in the description that is a direct link to their website. If you are anything like me, and you're on this journey of purification with Yahuwah, you may want to rethink the clothes you wear and be ready in that fine linen. I hope this was educational for you. We'll see you in the next video, family. Shalom.